Friends University actually wasn't Friends University at the start. It was originally Garfield University, named after the president, Garfield. In that time, Wichita was having some terrible economic troubles at the tail end of the 1880s that led to Garfield University closing. James M. Davis, a St. Louis businessman, uh, came on the scene and he saw an ad posted in the newspaper for the Davis Building, which Garfield University had closed in. And he looked to his wife, Anna, and he said, I think this is our chance to give a college to the world. Uh, and well, the rest is the history of Friends University. My first job was to say to the students and to the parents, we're giving you a 21% increase in your tuition next year because that's what society is giving us. Even within the Davis building, every other light bulb was unscrewed to save electricity. So we came in with our eyes wide open. Technology was having a huge impact. You can get your education online, cheaper, uh, quicker, we came in 1979, we drove our cars up from Florida. Inflation was at 21%. Ladies and gentlemen, the singing Quakers of Friends University. We had lost a lot of tradition, we had lost a lot of culture. Um, I mean, something as big as a worldwide pandemic obviously is going to have some very drastic ramifications for a college campus, um, particularly even in Kansas, you know, just where we think we're away from everything. We had a pivot about seven years ago that came out of a crisis of leadership. The board had to look each other in the eye and make a decision. When I came to Friends University, we had some serious challenges, and I knew that we had to address those right away. We were all forced as an institution to kind of step back and take a look at where we were at in that moment, decide where we wanted to be in the future, and then come up with a plan on how we were going to make that happen. What is it that lives on beyond a person or an institution? What is it that we remember? What is it, what is it that carries on? And it's those deeply true, beautiful, and good things that we see in someone or in some place that carries on. For 125 years later to say we're still firmly planted in that I think would mean a lot to the founders as well as to this community. We've been here 125 years. They've weathered the storms, but they still haven't given up the mission.